Okay, so now that we've been through the manage team process in the sixth edition of the Pinbox here in the crowd trainings PMP exam prep course of PM City, let's go through and review again the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques of the manage team process. Now, first, obviously, the inputs. And we're going to have our main input being the project management plan. And as you know, I like to draw it as a big file folder because I like to think about it as a bunch of folders that I'm not drawing really well there. But uh, it's going to have the resource plans, the quality plans, all those kind of things. Because if you are trying to manage your team, you need to know, well, what is your team and what are they made up and what is the various different plans you have for them. You also have to have the input of various different project documents. So those project documents could be things like the team charter. It could be maybe lessons learned. Um, that includes both of this current pro uh, project, but also previous projects that you might have been working on. Also, you have to know how things are going, right? So you're going to need reports that are kind of going to uh, give you some data, some information about the work performance. So I'm going to call this work performance reports so the overall how the project is going or not going if you need to uh, correct it or or just how you go about managing it also then on the team itself you know maybe individually or as a group you know how is the team performing or not performing you know the that various different information it's just essentially how are you assessing it so team performance and anything about the assessment of those teams and those people who make up the team, right? Those are you're going to be using that information to decide how best to manage. Also, you are a product of your environment and the project organization, so that is the enterprise environmental factors, you know, the culture or how things are done, you know, just kind of the uh, climate. And then there might be some templates or other kind of assets available to you. So this is my binder of OPAs or organizational process assets or maybe various different templates we have. All right, those are your inputs. Now let's again review the tools and techniques. Um, not, actually, not too many. The main one is just your um, interpersonal skills, you know, how the team works together uh, and, you know, how they um, work together, how they interact how they um, they manage and work so I'm, I'm just gonna say interpersonal skills because it it does it well actually and team skills because it does cover a lot of different things things like you know conflict management you know and how you deal with it and how you make decisions and and, and how you you know have emotional intelligence and active listening and all these different things but so it's all those you know leadership and all the ways that you interact and work with your team not just you but you know really everybody it's a team as a whole and how everything is you know working well or not well or just how things are done just you know how teams get managed and then also you can have systems that help you do this as a project management information system you know any kind of way that you track it um, any kind of software that you might use so I'm just gonna kind of draw a computer here just to kind of make it simple. The idea is that any kind of system that you're using to help you track and maintain all the resources and the teams. All right, so those are the tools and techniques. And now on to the outputs. The outputs, well, sometimes if things are not working how they should be working, you're going to have to request some changes. So change requests is one. Another one just could be updates to that project management plan so as the team is working or not working you know that is going to be reflected in the plans maybe it's going to change the schedules maybe it's going to change the uh, the plan of what resources or the amount of resources we need maybe we have too many not enough we need to pull them from elsewhere different skill sets and so that might also change the documents uh, well, for instance like that calendar you know that resource calendar that we're looking at or maybe even our lessons learned all those different documents could be affected for example and so those project management this is the plan updates and this is the document updates and then you could um, just you know the environment that you work in could also have its updates or 
influences or changes. So you're going to have the enterprise environmental factor updates. So updates, 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 and change requests for your outputs. And then your interpersonal team skills and a whole slew of those are really how you go about managing. You know, I even write down here the leadership that you and others use and, and then a system to help you do that. And then we talked about, again, your inputs of the project management plan, project documents, work performance reports, team performance assessments, and your enterprise environmental factors and your organizational process assets. So again, that is a quick review of the process from the crowd training.